everyone, it's Bridget. I am going to show you how to make a sequence board game. Um, a friend of mine a while back had come over and we had game night one night, her and her husband, and um, she brought over this board. It's called Sequence. Now, for the longest time, I was calling it Pokino, but it's not Pokino, it's Sequence. And she then moved to Florida and took her board with her. So I had taken a picture of it and what I had done was I had made one at a foam board. And this one is quite big. This is like 24 by 24. I mean it's very very large. It just depends on how um, big you cut your um, cards. My friend in North Carolina had made one on, card, on a piece of cardboard and she just <laughs> put all the um, cards on like the full card but anyway so I have this um, board and it's actually it came from a piece of furniture you know kind of like an entertainment stand that you put the backing um, you know the backboard on and I don't know for some reason we didn't put it on and I had been saving it because it's hardboard and it doesn't warp so I've been saving it for something like this, and this is what I'm going to use it for. This is actually going to go to my grandsons. I cut mine a little smaller, my cards a little bit tinier, and I had planned on my friend, a friend of mine has a whole bunch of poker chips, or not poker chips, um, bingo chips. So these are going to fit perfectly in playing the game. So all you need is two different colors, but we'll get into that later. So anyway, so this is my board, and what I did was I took it to my scroll saw. No, I used my band saw, I'm sorry, and I cut it 14 by 14, or give or take. It's kind of 14 by 14. And what I had done was I had laid out all of my, um, all of my little um, cards on here first, and then measured, and then cut it out. So now my tedious task is to put all of these on here the way glue them on the way they're supposed to go and then we're going to use amazing clear cast over this and let it cure and that's going to give us a nice sturdy board this I use tape this is my cheap five dollar um, dollar store board and it's literally everything was under five dollars to make this and the poker chips that I got for this were from garage sales and this game is so much fun once you've played once and I'll show you when my board is all done how to play once you've played once you're gonna love it because you can play two player you can play teams with four players six players eight players it is so much fun and the more chips that you get on the board the harder it gets it's just awesome and I will show you um, when I'm all finished with this board how to play so what I have to do now is I have to just um, glue all my pieces on but I want to line them up and make sure they're pretty much um, aligned and like I said this is for an eight-year-old so it doesn't have to be perfect but you know I'd like to get it semi perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting my pieces on and um, I either may fast forward through I mean I might let you watch some of this and then I'm just going to cut the video and um, and come back on when I'm all done gluing, okay? Okay, so you can see that there is a pattern on the board, like these are, starts with the king of diamonds, ace of diamonds, two, four, seven, eight, nine, ten of diamonds, four, five, six, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the king and queen are up here. We don't use jacks anywhere on here because those are going to be your wild cards when you play. Um, there's the two-eyed jack and there's the one-eyed jack and they have a specific meaning when you're playing but that I'll explain later so if you just notice the pattern these are the spades these are the hearts and I kind of have them all facing 
the same way. These are the clubs, the hearts again over here. Now this is one deck of cards, okay? When you're playing, you play with two decks of cards. And I'm hoping, I think I have two of the tiny decks that I'm hoping to send with this game. Um, so it's tiny for their little hands because they're eight and four. But anyways, my eight-year-old loves playing this. My four, The four-year-old grandson, he just thinks he's playing. But that's okay. Um, and then, of course, the same. So it's a pattern. So you just have to get used to that pattern. I, you know, I'm kind of getting used to it by making it. Now what I want to do is I just want to go through and even out the rows and um, glue them down. So what I found works best, I'm going to use this tacky glue and hopefully I have enough to finish this job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straighten out all of these to where I want them and then I'm going to glue them down. What would work really good with this is a chalk line. Then you could chalk line all of your lines. And make sure they're all even. The other thing is, is these cards are coded. So when I put the, the uh, Amazing Clear Cast over, I don't have to seal the cards because they've already been sealed. Um, typically if they're not sealed playing cards, which I don't think there's any that aren't, um, but if you do have some that aren't, you can use Mod Podge to seal them. Um, otherwise I believe you'll get a, like a yellowing effect. So this is kind of tedious, so I will fast forward this. Okay, so I'm going to start mixing up the Amazing Clear Cast, and I'm going to start pouring it on my board, and I have two parts of each, and I'm going to use this cup, and um, I need my, there's always something, I need my popsicle sticks. So we're going to mix it up in this container. Popsicle stick for this because this is a little creamier. And let me just get this out. Now I'm going to start pouring on my board.
Okay, so don't mind my messy table. I'm just trying to level it. The one thing that I advise you is to make sure that your table is level because otherwise it's gonna pour off the sides. The other way to avoid that is you can put tape around it um, and uh, so that it's it doesn't go over the sides but um so far so good I mean I've got it raised over here and there's just a little bit I think I actually just poured a little too much but I think when I look across I'm gonna get some of these bubbles out now if you take a lighter and I think I've said this before of course if you have a quality lighter that actually lights um, I'm going to try to get some of these bubbles out. Okay. So I'm going to look this over and then we're going to let this cure for 24 hours and then I'll be back. Okay, my game board is cured and it's really nice. I really like the way it came out. Um, I think it came out beautiful. So now I'm going to teach you how to play this game. And if you've never played before, you play with two decks of cards. So you want to take the jokers out of these, these, um, decks and you want to shuffle them really, really, really good. Um, and then you will deal. Um, so if you're playing with two players, you'll deal seven cards to each player. Okay. So if it's me and another player, I get seven cards. So I'm just going to count out seven cards from this deck and of course I end up with the two jokers okay so here's my cards okay and this jack is a two-eye jack now the two-eye jack is you can lay a chip down on any one of these cards okay um, the jokers are wild so that is like a free space so um, if you get these four in a row, then you've then you've won a line. So you got one sequence, and you've got to get two in each game. If you get two lines, then you win the game. So this I'm going to save for when I need it. Now the one-eyed jack is um, you can remove a chip. So if somebody has like four in a row, I know this is five. So say somebody has four in a row, and you don't want them to get that, you can take use this and take that one away. So you want to save these either to when you're you may you know you have a chance of winning or you know you somebody else may have a chance of winning and you want to take that away. So anyway, so I normally put my suits and I didn't shuffle these cards so I have all all diamonds. And what you do is the person I'm gonna get a couple um Actually, I got a pretty good hand here, but um, I want to pick up a couple dark cards, so I'm going to take these away, okay, just so I can show you the mix. Okay, so then the person opposite of the dealer obviously goes first, and when you're playing in groups, like if you're playing teams, like two people on a team, then you want to sit, you don't want to sit together if you're the team, you want to sit opposite of each other, like across from each other, and you can't help each other either. But, you know, a team is, you know, if, if, if your team player has got this going on and you have that ace, then, you know, throw your chip down and that's one win for the team. So anyway, so what you do is you just, you start off, okay, I'm just going to lay my card, my chip here. And then the next player goes wherever they go. So say they go here, they lay their card down, you, you do separate piles. Um, and then you always want to have seven cards so if I lay down I'm going to pick from the deck which the deck should be flipped over like this and you flip and you get that card so then it when it's your turn you go again and you just have to it's kinda like bingo on a board you know like you just have to make a sequence um, and it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be you know it can be any suits as long as it's five in a row 
Okay, so we'll do the Ten of Diamonds down here. And then they go, or you pick a card, then they go, and then you go. And all the time, like if they, ha if this is theirs, the chips that you also play with are um, one team gets one color and the other team gets another color so you can tell each other apart. So like I find these at garage sales and this is what we play with. Um, not specifically on this board, it's kind of big for this board. But like I said, we have the bigger board. But, um, and then the other thing you want to do with your chips, which I didn't do with this game because I have to get more bingo chips because I don't have enough right now, is you want to put a sticker on one side of it or you want to take a, a marker, like a um, permanent marker and, you know, put a mark on this side because once you've got five in a row, you want to flip your chips over to where that mark is. So that shows one win. So basically you're going to get two wins. Um, if you get two lines in one game, then your team wins or you win. Um, I will put the directions down below because I know it's kind of hard to explain without playing it. A lot of you probably have already played this game. Um, but it's a really fun game. My husband and I have a, I have fun time playing this. Um, you know for hours this is really great um, game to play so like I said if you have any questions you know leave comments down below I'd be happy to answer them for you um, and you know go make one yourself and enjoy it because it'll bring your family together and it's just so much fun so thanks everybody for watching